Hey you guys, so I actually did a quick wash and go on my hair earlier. Now I didn't um, pick it out. I didn't stretch my curls. I didn't really do anything to it. I tried to define more of my curls up here, but as you can see, they're still really frizzy. So I'm hoping that he can work with that and give me the layers that I want in my hair. And, but this is what my hair is looking like before. I'm actually gonna show you guys the photo that I want him to cut my hair into layers to look like. So this is actually the shape that I'm going for as far as and this is the you know overall shape that I'm going for and get me all the way together and I actually stretched my hair earlier well yesterday and it looked pretty good so I think after my appointment I'm going to um, rewash my hair depending on what products he uses and um, do my normal clarifying and deep treatment and then style my hair and then come back here and let you ladies see what it looks like in the end so we'll see i'm gonna take you ladies with me and maybe he'll let me film maybe he won't but if he won't i will definitely check in with you ladies at the end to let you know how it turns out Okay, you guys, this was going to be a chit chat, get ready with me, but I decided to just do a voiceover. So I'm going to start with my foundation, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. It's the Poreless Fit Me Foundation in 330. And I'm almost out of this, as you can see. So I'm quickly just going to apply my primer. And this is the Fenty Primer. And as you're about to see, your girl is almost out of this. So while it's squirting everywhere, I'm also out because I had to pop the top off and, you know, do some ghetto things just to be able to prime my face. Typically, less is more with this, but I felt like I wasn't getting enough out of the bottle, so it looks like I applied a whole bunch. But I didn't add any to my forehead, and I just moved that all around. And sometimes I do like to apply it with my fingertips just to get an even, even application, but... I did use a brush today to apply it and that is actually a MAC brush that you can just find on their website. Next I am going to be actually applying the foundation and as y'all can see it looks more on the cool side but it, it turns out good in the end. So I'm just going to take a beauty blender and blend this out because I find if I use a brush to blend out my foundation, then it will leave streaks and it's just not a good look. So a beauty blender will give you a more even application or if you have washed your hands recently um, before you start, you can just use your fingers and blend out your foundation because that's what we, well that's what I used to do before I even knew what a beauty blender was and that would give me an even application as well so you know do do what you gotta do girl don't 
spread if you don't have a beauty blender or even a makeup brush. So this is just me showing you my NARS concealer and my MAC concealer that I may use, but I'm actually going in with my LA Pro concealer and I'm just honestly using this concealer until I run out of it because I do have two other concealers and I do love the NARS concealer because it's very creamy and doesn't dry out under my eyes because I used to get really bad creasing under my eyes so LA Pro and NARS are my go-to's and you can see it blends out with literally no problem and here I'm just showing you my curls and how I was able to achieve more definition in the curls since having it cut I was just going on a whole rant here so I just did the voiceover because it was not like constructive criticism <laughs> so here I'm applying my fit me um, powder I think this was in the number 30 medium and I actually need to stock back up on this because I'm almost out of this too it's been a minute since your girl had to do a whole beat down on the face but I just applied this you know liberally do what you want with it I may try the Laura Mercier powder next we'll see maybe I should do a get ready with me do my makeup with some new products and I just brush this off as you saw with a just a regular brush to kind of blend it in and get everything cohesive next I'm going to use my hula bronzer and this is the mini I have yet to need to buy the full size one so the mini works for me and I just use this to contour my face and you can see that I'm using it pretty hefty because I, like it gives a good deposit but I don't know I just feel like I have to you know apply it a little bit heavier to get the contour that I like so next I'm using the benefit blush and I think it's like rose gold pink or something like that I'll have to check but I like it because it gives my uh, cheeks a nice really rosy color and here I'm just separating my curls so that I can actually see what it's doing because you can see towards the front of my head the hair looks then next I'm going in with my Jackie Aina highlighter it is the La Peach from her Artist Couture collection and I'm just going to be putting that on my cheeks you know to give yourself a little sparkle we all love a good highlight I also apply this to my the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow so yes highlighter will be working when she actually came out with this collection I was here for it I also got the bronze but I found in the winter it's definitely too dark for me so in the winter I use La Peach and in the summer I can just layer them or use uh, you know one or the other I highly recommend even you know now years later like it's been bomb since day one next I'm going to spray my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray just to set my all the powders on my face because I feel like if I don't then my face just looks entirely too powdery and nothing sets properly and I want to know if I need to go back in and contour so now I'm going to use my Maybelline New York um, gel liner and I use this I apply this with a MAC 266 brush I also um, bought their latest one that they came out with which was the 266 s the one you're looking at right now but I have that one and the original uh, MAC 266 angle brush. I would highly recommend you grab one because it's the easiest thing to apply my eyeliner. Next I am going to apply my um, Mink Lashes in Style Miami by Lily Lashes and I actually love these. I have two pairs of these and I'm going to use the Duo Lash Glue and I actually like the latex free one better it glue, glues down a lot faster next I'm going to be doing my mascara and I believe that was the Revlon mascara
Okay, queens, and this is the final makeup look and hair, and I can say that I'm actually digging the hair. It's not too bad, and you know the makeup, it's whatever, but really, I'm just happy that I am able to start on my healthy hair journey with my hair and just have all of the dead ends gone, and I'm slowly cutting off the color, and just now that I've actually like cut some of the hair on top, like you can see, that my roots are now curling up a lot more let me try to separate it like my roots are curling up a lot more before they were like super frizzy super flat so now i can actually get some definition and kind of create this um bang situation and i'm just really excited to go through the entire journey with you guys and learn how to do um i think it's twist outs and like um curling rods and then the flexi rods like I never even knew these styles existed so now we can actually go through this together and uh, you know just kind of tinker with everything and just I'm just really excited that I get to take you guys along with me on this journey so get your screenshots now because this is what my hair looks like now in 2020 actually March 1st 2020 and we're gonna come back next year in 2021 and see what the hair is looking like so thank you guys so much for going to my first diva cut with me and for sticking through this video i hope you enjoyed it please turn on your notifications click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next video bye